the Canadian Championships in Edmonton to the World Championships in Beijing. It's been quite an off-season for Aaron Teshuk. Most college athletes don't race until the end of August, you know. Most everyone's done it after the NCAA meet. Maybe a few go on to the USA Championships or Canadian Championships. For Aaron to go to Pan Am Games and then on to the World Championship, it's been a different um, schedule than most, but I think we've made it work really well. This season actually has been a lot of training, less racing, but it's been nice to just have that chance to focus on training and just focus on this meet. On Saturday, Teshuk will be making her second consecutive appearance in the NCAA Cross Country Championships in Louisville. And after a disappointing finish at the meet last season, she is ready for another chance. She's become almost a different person when it comes to the competitive part of this. You know, she knows what it takes to prepare and what is important and what isn't going into a race. At this time last year, it was all much more of a new experience. So going into it this year, I think I kind of have more experience competing at that level under my belt. So it's just going into it, I think, more with that mindset. Erin has won every race she's competed in this fall including wins at the Summit League Championship and the NCAA Midwest Regional. She enters the NCAA Championships looking for one more. I'm confident that I can kind of run with the top group of girls and then hopefully with a K to go be feeling good and be in a position to win. Reporting for GoBison.com, I'm Ryan Nelson.